Hi everyone, um, this is another edition of Universe, uh, the ongoing saga. It seems like it's always ongoing. Uh, today, actually, I wanted to make this video because i am reached a milestone of sorts. Um, <clears throat> part of the problem with doing, you know, development is that you want to see progress, right? And uh, if you're just working with a lot of code, you have to do a lot of test harnessing and things, and the progress that you see is mostly uh, just, you know, text output. You don't really get to see a lot of stuff, so it's really tempting to jump into Unity and to um, actually uh, start doing stuff. Um, within the, uh, the the visual editor but the problem with that is that you get caught up in a lot of the a lot of the the oohs and ahs but you don't end up doing um, what you need to do in order to get the game working but every now and then it's good to take kind of a, a little side trip so a few things what I've done thus far is I purchased uh, two packages from the asset store the first is playmaker which is a visual scripting tool uh, Basically, you can do uh, it's a, you can set up logic using a flowchart type uh, structure. I haven't quite gotten to that yet. But the second one uh, that I purchased today was uh, FX Maker because uh, it was 50% off. Regularly, uh, $100, so it was down to 50. But um, looking at the demo, what it did was it allows you to do a lot of uh, work with particles and um, uh, prefabs and and um, textures and it, it it it's really cool it does a lot of uh, the heavy lifting that would probably cause me to bang my head up against the sharp uh, edge of a table if I had to do it myself so it saved me a lot of time um, one of the reasons that I wanted that kind of package was because I need to make stars uh, stars are gigantic balls of gas and as such they have kind of a the round but they have um, you know the, the their their edges are uh, constantly in motion, so they kind of fluctuate and things like that. So I needed some kind of uh, stars to be able to do that, and uh, if I had to do it, like I said, by hand, uh, I probably wouldn't have gotten it done anytime soon. So I picked up FX Maker while I was on on that bent. Um, I looked for a Skybox Maker, and I found a nice. Um, freeware skybox um, maker called uh, Spacescape and what it allows you to do is throw in layers upon layers and you can set all kinds of properties such as um, uh, points, um, noise, um, you can set transparency and all kinds of other blending models and it makes some really nice looking skyboxes. Um, I'd wrestle with that a little bit because it was weird but um, I, as you can see here, um, I did get it to go. It's kind of a purpley black uh, skybox right now. I have to probably go through and tweak that um, a, a little later. But uh, what I really wanted to show was uh, what this all comes to. So here we have our um, skybox in the background obviously and I have uh, kind of the start of a little UI here so when you start a new game uh, you'll or when you load up the game you'll get this menu um, load save options quit that stuff doesn't do anything right now but when you hit new game what it does is it will go ahead and generate everything in the universe it will create the star systems it will create um, all of the stellar artifacts uh, such as gas clouds asteroid belts black holes alien debris or what have you. Uh, planets. Planets will contain uh, the populations, it will contain you know other resources, it will contain um, the you know um, whatever the hell you find on a planet I guess and uh, you know it will also handle um, uh, the population's needs and wants, the initial setup there and will also connect uh, certain systems together uh, via travel lines so you can know that in order to get from point A to point B, you're going to have to travel through, you know, F, K, and X in order to get there. But um, after it generates the system uh, in memory, then it's going to go ahead and render it here in, on, the, uh, on the screen. So 
what we have here is um, if we hit new game now we have stars hooray um, and if we zoom in on some of the stars woo, I gotta set the adjust that you'll see that it's got some nice little undulating edges this is a, a blue star here's a nice white star and a yellow star and um, you know you can move around them using the uh, WASD keys and I fixed my rotation problem for those of you who are privy to that uh, issue that I had on G plus today um, by instituting uh, the player controller which actually deals with the movement and then uh, using a chase cam basically pointing to that um, that meshless player controller so now I can rotate the camera around and I can go forward as I need to. So basically we're talking about your, you know, it's a basic first person uh, first person shooter kind of control scheme. But one of the things that uh, you do get is when you hover over these guys, you'll notice they have little designations. Uh, right now it's just randomly generated um, identifiers, but uh, they'll eventually get real names for the star systems. And if you really want to see what the heck this star system over here is, uh, ND7644, you can click on it and it will zoom you right to it without you actually having to, to go there. Um, I'm having some centering problems, but this should uh, actually show up you know, front and center. And when you do that, then eventually you'll get your UI here around, uh, around the rest of the viewport. So um, I'm very pleased so far um, with what I've accomplished here. Um, my what I'm trying to do right now actually is um, space these guys out a little more so they don't look so crowded. Um, you know, one of the natural occurrences, I guess, is that we have binary stars here <laughs> um, by accident. They don't actually function as binary stars, but it looks kind of neat. Um, I would like to also uh, tweak these. Um, these stars here so that they are actually sized appropriately for their color. Um, the blues should be the biggest um, and the uh, the reds that's, uh, that's, um, do I have any reds? Is this guy a red? Where are you dude? Uh, I think this is an orange. I don't think I have any reds here. Huh. But the reds are the smallest. Those are the ones that are the closest to burning out. Yeah, I don't seem to have any reds for some reason. Hmm. All of these are randomly generated right now. It simply picks out of the pool and just says, okay, we're going to use this, this, this. Again, I may uh, try and keep with actual actual um, stellar distribution and, and weight them more heavily in, in favor of uh, habitable planets or planets where you can actually uh, get some work done. So... That's uh, where I am right now. So uh, work is continuing. I've actually gotten further in the past, I think, two weeks than I have in the past three years um, or so as I've been trying to get this done. So uh, I'm very pleased. And uh, I don't know what the next update will be. Um, I guess it will depend upon what I can get. I want to try and get some more UI in there um, just so I can um, verify some of the data as it's generated. So um, thanks for watching.